It is too early for words. So I'm just gonna do some typing first and I'll come back to you when my brain has slightly started to turn the cogs a little more. Good morning everyone. Welcome to the world's most chaotic office right now. I am not gonna move you because then you would see the absolute apocalyptic catastrophe that's going on behind me. This isn't really the zen working environment that I pictured myself to have when I thought of having my own office. Turns out it doesn't make me any more organised, it just makes me fill yet another room with absolute chaos and disorganisation. I don't know whether you can tell by how well presented and thoroughly groomed I am right now, um, but I didn't get out of bed all that long ago. <laughs> it's currently 7.51. Um, I've been at my desk for about 20 minutes trying to just get a vague grip on Monday morning and Adam's actually just left about 10 minutes ago because he's got a physiotherapy appointment this morning. I don't think I would have told you guys this but he dislocated his knee a few months ago playing five aside, the health and safety dream that is five aside football. Yeah his knee fell out of its socket basically and he had to push it back in so delicious. So that's where he's gone to today. Not in a too good a state, he's quite hungover, so I'm sure that'll go well. And I am just starting to crack on with all my weekly stuff really, so Monday mornings are for me to try and figure out what I'm going to do for the next five days. And then this afternoon is going to be all about filming, because I need to get loads of stuff done before we go away on holiday. So that's my plan, it might not be the most interesting day, but let's hang out. It's not even 8am and I'm already annoyed with myself though because last night I had such good intentions so I was gonna wake up really early and then I'd written myself a daily to-do list by the hour because I've seen loads of people do that and they seem to be so on the ball with everything they like block their day out by hours. Turns out I'm an hour into it and I'm already doing things that I forgot to put on the list so I've already thrown off my schedule so that's not gonna work. I'll also fill you in later on where we're up to with the house stuff because I know you guys are interested in all that too. Well, I'm dressed now, so that's a little bit of progress, at least. Slightly more like a functioning human being. This is the jumper that makes me want to watch Hocus Pocus, have a pumpkin spice latte, get all the blankets ever, feel the autumnal vibes. Sorry about the filthy mirror. My current fave jumper, this is from Joni, um, and it's a little tribute to Liverpool, seeing as I don't get to go very often. It's a little Penny Lane jumper, and it's got the postcode on here. Got like a little sparkly thread running through it too. It's so pretty, and it's such a nice fit. Current fave belt, which I'm pretty sure pretty sure it's a pretty little thing. It's a bit like trashy 80s vibe but I like the big plastic buckle on it, it's like tortoiseshell. These are from ASOS and they're super duper comfy. They are a little bit big to be honest but that makes them comfier anyway so it's all good. I'm actually really shattered today. I slept so badly because Flo decided that four o'clock in the morning was a really good time to do a decathlon. A decathlon, a decathlon around the flat, just marathon sprinting. But I'm also reading a really good book, so it was actually okay. Um, I'm reading this at the moment, which is called Queenie by Candice Carter Williams. I'll show you this too. I also finished this, which, oh my God, if you haven't read this, it's called The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I actually think this is one of my favorite books I've ever read. No biggie, no drama, but uh, I would call this one of my favourite books ever. So there's two glowing recommendations for you. You can screenshot this if you're looking for some book recommendations. And uh, <laughs> just ignore the beers here. They're from when we went out on Saturday. And actually, looking around this room, I've just reminded myself that I've got this huge pile of clothes that I need to put on Depop which I might try and do this evening actually. So if you don't follow me on Depop and Depop is something you like to use, it's a great place to find secondhand clothes uh, for really good affordable prices. I buy quite a lot of stuff from there now. The time is 10.55 am ladies and gentlemen. Now time for our house update bulletin. Yeah, as promised, I thought I'd just deliver you a little update on the house buying process. From what I can update you on anyway, I mean there's nothing major happening. It's basically just me emailing people every day, reminding them like, just following up on this, just chasing this. So we have now chosen a mortgage, chosen our mortgage rate, if you're interested. We've decided to go for a five year fixed mortgage plan, um, seeing as the country is basically a burning dumpster fire of political disaster right now. Um, yeah, it's a great time to buy a house. Well done, Lucy and Adam. We basically decided to stick with the rate that we've got for as long as possible because we don't really know what's going to happen to the housing market once we turn our back on the European Union, which seems like a tremendous idea. I think we've got a fairly good rate. 
I mean, I don't even really know what that means. I'm gonna be honest with you. At some point in my education, it would have been nice to have had a lesson about what a mortgage is. But here I am at 28, not a clue. And we're also going for another viewing on Wednesday as well, which I'm really excited about. We're taking Adam's parents with us. They haven't seen it yet. Um, so Adam and I are going, and then we're gonna meet his mum and dad there too, and they're gonna get to see it for the first time. So that's really exciting. Hope they like it. If they don't, that's a bit awkward. We're a bit too far gone now, I'm afraid. The next big thing is getting the survey booked in. So I'm just waiting to hear about that really. But there is one exciting thing today. I've kind of made the first purchase for our new house and it's quite a special one. Our whole flat decor basically revolves around prints. We have a whole print wall leading up the stairs. We have the huge print wall that I film all my fashion videos in front of. And I spotted a website called Mapperful a while ago and I've had my eye on it for ages. And as fate would have it, Mapperful happened to drop me an email recently and asked me if I wanted to show you guys the amazing products that they create. Uh, so obviously I said yes because they're beautiful and it's good timing because it's just arrived. So this is the first thing that we've bought for the new flat. I thought I'd do a little unboxing and show you what it's all about. God, I need a haircut. I literally look like a spaniel. We'll sort that out another day. Anyway, so as I said, Mapperful is a website which I have been swooning over for quite some time. Basically, you head onto the website and then you create your own completely unique map posters of somewhere that's really special to you, somewhere that really means a lot, a location that you associate with a loved one or happy memories. It's so cool, you can literally choose anywhere on the whole planet to design your map around. You can zoom in and out as close or as far away as you want to. You could pick a specific street that you grew up on, for instance, or you could pick a whole country that you've been to visit that you had an amazing holiday. You like commemorating somewhere that really means a lot to you and that brings happy memories and that evokes a really special feeling every time you look at it. But the design of them is all also gorgeous. It's quite like Scandi inspired. And anyway, I'm going to show you what we chose now. The big reveal. Da oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you the little one first. If you ask me a special place, the first place that I'm going to say to you is the Wirral. That's where I grew up. It's the Paradise Peninsula. If you've never heard of it, it's the sticky out bit on the map that's across the water from Liverpool. So obviously, I had to get myself a little Wirral print. So that's the first one here. So these are actually my school coordinates. What I associate with the Wirral is where I grew up and where I went to school. So I thought that was quite special. So these are actually the coordinates of <laughs> Wirral Grammar School for girls. Rock and roll. And then this is the main poster that I designed. So this is quite a big size. It's got these amazing like sepia tones with a little splash of turquoise for the rivers. Very handy DIY skills complete. I could not be happier with that. I think it looks so perfect next to those shelves. I absolutely love that. Not only does it fit perfectly to fill in that little gap that's been bugging me for ages next to the shelves, but it's just such a special thing for us to have in the living room. So it's got our little first date spot here. So that's Covent Garden. And down here as well, somewhere mysterious, it's also got our apartment. So it's literally just the perfect little snapshot of our time in central London for the past few years. I just could not love it anymore. It's so special. These specific coordinates here, this is where we had our little first date spot where we went to grab a bite to eat. And then I wrote day one here just to be an extra little cutie pie. So that is the London one, which I could not be more in love with. I think it is perfect for our living room. For now, I've just popped my little Wirral one next to the vinyl player here. I think that's quite a nice little spot for it. If you've got something coming up like a wedding or a graduation, something where there's a time and a place that you really want to remember forever they would just be the most perfect present i think they're so thoughtful and sentimental and really special so if you are interested in mapperful then i'm going to link everything you need to know in the description box down below you'll find the discount code down there as well so make sure you head down there click the links and you can make one of these beautiful little map posters for yourself get creative i now have to head to the doctors and while i was busy doing all that i didn't realize that it is currently torrential rain outside Great, you know I was talking about those autumn vibes that I'm loving so much earlier? This is the reality. I'm about to go and get absolutely drenched. I might as well sail to the doctors. Look at this. I mean, that's just not what I want to head out into right now. Return of the Mac. Return of the Mac. Let's go to the doctors and get my anti-baby pills. I'm back. Little haul. I mean, it's the, literally the least exciting haul that's ever happened in the history of the world. Uh, bought some tuna. Bought some avocados because I never know what to have for lunch when I haven't got these in. My absolute go-to lunch at the moment is 
avocados on this dark rye rye vita with sun dried tomatoes and then salt and pepper on the top. It's so delicious. So I was just gonna have that for lunch, but then on my way, I uh, made a stop off, picked up the iconic famous vegan sausage roll and I've never ever tried it so we're gonna do a taste test right now. This is the content that you signed up for. The Greg's vegan sausage roll experience. Here we go. I mean it tastes like a sausage roll. So good. We've really taken a turn on this channel. This is what it's come to. Oh what a lunch this is. Lunch of kings. So I'm just doing a little bit of holiday shopping while I have some lunch. And I thought I'd show you what I'm considering. First mountain that I've got to climb is potentially finding some kind of new swimwear. Quite like this little mint green one. I thought that was quite cute. I quite fancy a high-waisted bikini. I'm sort of into this one. In fact, I really like this actually. I think this is a cute little combo, but it only seems to come in one size, like a one size fits all jobby, which I think is a bit weird. I do really like this one, although it's pretty expensive. It's a little bit different. It's almost like a little crop top. I mean, 40 quid just for the top. Are you kidding me, ASAS? What? Uh, what? Like what? I thought this was really pretty. This one's from Under the Stories, but I have a feeling this like pale pink colour might make me look slightly like a corpse. Really like this like poofy sleeve little blouse tucked into shorts. I think that's really cute with the headband as well. I really like how they've styled that. Isn't it weird when you go back through your wish list and you see so much stuff and you're like, I mean, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not sure on what I was planning to wear this to. So I've just popped my order in and in the end I've gone for... I'm going to be sending probably 90% of this back, if not 100%. So I've gone for the Nike red swimming costume because I feel like that's like a good safe bet. But this bikini, this swimming costume, this bikini and I think that's all. So I'll pick the best of that bunch. I love this little shirt, I'm hoping that looks nice with shorts. This little one for holiday, which I thought would be just really cute to chuck on with shorts. This little dress, which I think is a boohoo one. This dress, which is definitely a bit mad, but it'll either be the best or the worst thing I've ever worn. Order done, and now I need to actually do some work, because this, this does not qualify as work. So next up is my very glamorous Monday. Emails, bit of DIY, trip to the doctors to discuss contraception. Now I'm going to take the rubbish out. Hollywood, Hollywood for Lucy Wood, always glamorous. G L A M O R O U S, we're flying first class. Hello, what's this? Is this a tail? <laughs> it doesn't belong to me. Who does it belong to? It belongs to Flo. Look. We all know who the most popular one is around here. We all know who the people come to see. Um, <laughs> well, that just about sums it up. Cats, huh? Who'd have them? Well, I've been well and truly sucked in to sitting and doing a load of emails about house stuff and now my brain is literally fried. I'm like trying to make all these decisions, but then also sending little messages to Adam while he's at work, hoping that he replies in time. It's a lot. It's, uh, I'm over it now. I'm done. This isn't like choosing sofas and picking out nice duvet covers and painting walls like I thought it was going to be. I'm definitely not going to have time to do any filming today, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest, because it's going to hold me up for the rest of the week. But um, I'll just have to do double filming tomorrow and um, hope that I can stay alive that long. What else is in my little diary? Oh, I'll show you this, actually. How cute is this? So I was sent a little bundle, so kindly sent a little bundle of stationery from a company called Papier, which does, like, customised... Oh, what is this email? Oh, my God, go away! <laughs> so this is my new little planner, which is just beautiful. Um, this is a little notepad, which matches, which I just thought was so cute. The only thing is you'd receive this and think, oh, I bet that desk is so fancy. And then... Actually, the reality is that I have giant Harry Potter books and lots of coffee mugs. Adam's home. He's just giving me a little fashion show. <laughs> you want to say hi? If this hat could fit on my big head. Maybe you just got a giant head. <laughs> you need to show some hair. <laughs> so this shirt here isn't Adam's questionable taste in shirts. It's basically the boys are doing a shit shirt competition when we go on holiday. And this is Adam's contribution for our friend Justin. But I actually think you'll quite like it. Don't worry, it's not going out till during the holiday, so you won't see it. Not that he watches these videos anyway. Make America great again. Cute, they're really nice. Oh, I like. No, I like those. 
Maybe we them slightly lower. That's it. Not quite that low. <laughs> Not librarian levels of low. <laughs> you literally look like you're having a midlife crisis. <laughs> Needs to be poolside, shirt open, on a lilo, beer in hand. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Flo's like, no, return it. I'm trying to find where we are. Well, don't point it out on the vlog. <laughs> this is where I live. Do you like it? I love it, it's great. Yeah, it looks amazing, doesn't it? It's really nice. It's for he tonight in the Bullwood household. Chicken, roasted peppers and onions. Homemade salsa. Adam's famous homemade salsa. Sour cream. Lucy's, Lucy's famous. famous mushed avocado that's not even guacamole, it's literally just mushed avocado. Cheese and wraps. I'm just about to make my new favourite breakfast. Adam's behind the camera, so this feels very weird. I'm about to make my new favourite breakfast. Cut, cut, this is awful. <laughs> I thought I'd show you what it is because I never know what to make for breakfast. So if you're struggling for ideas, then this is a good one and it's a little overnight oats recipe that I got given by a brand the other day, but it's so delicious. So it says 250 mils of milk, but 200 is better, just saying. So then it doesn't go all sloppy joe. I quite like sloppy porridge. Ugh. So that's my almond milk. Then you want some almond butter. I'll definitely put the recipe for this in the description box because I'm definitely going to do a terrible job of explaining. <laughs> Two teaspoons of maple syrup. Oh yeah. Here it is. Um, let's just guess that. That right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Should I have a cooking show? Classic. This is like uh, early Delia Smith. <laughs> also, when we had fajitas for dinner, Adam didn't tell me that he put an entire chilli pepper in with the chilies and onions. So I ate it thinking it was a red pepper and I died. Oh, Flo's getting involved. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Now I'm chucking in some oats. Five. And make sure you get them everywhere, otherwise what's the point? <laughs> what even are these? Let's have a look. What's, have a, a, what's a chia? Let's have a close with the chia seeds. Nice, nice. What's a chia though? What do you mean? These are the seeds, so what's a chia? Yeah, that's not our seeds work, is it? I've literally spilled everywhere. <laughs> You're a disgrace. <laughs> and then, this is the uh... This is the key. <laughs> This is the key to good oats. <laughs> you are not one to talk about mess in the kitchen, are you joking? You wanna, you make bolognese. You wanna leave the chia seeds on the counter overnight. <laughs> These are kiwi berries, so they're literally like kiwi, but grapes or berries, and they're literally tiny mini kiwis and they're delicious. Adam's given up his directorial assistance already. He's <laughs> taken his post on the sofa before I even finish my oats. But um, that's literally all you have to do. Once you chuck the berries in, you're done and dusted. And I mean, it doesn't exactly look like the most appetizing thing in the world right now. But in the morning, when it's like soak the oats and they're ready to go, I promise you it's absolutely delicious. A few more kiwi berries on the top, a little bit of yogurt, some chopped almonds. Monday nights are obviously the best because University challenge, followed by a small interlude, followed by... Stuff Let's Flats! The world's best TV show. If you haven't watched it, it's on Channel 4. It's the world's funniest TV show. Me and Adam basically just communicating quotes from this show now. We don't actually speak proper sentences anymore. Howly pup! <laughs> Good. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so we're gonna go watch that now, and we've got a peaky blinders to catch up on. It's a wild evening in this house. So <laughs> thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please do give it a little thumbs up. I'm very hot in this jumper. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new. And I will see you guys very soon with another video. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs>